Hi, I'm Hans Moore and welcome to part six of my hair transplantation. It is now 15 days post-operative of having a hair transplant. I want to show you what it looks like 15 days later. Here is the recipient site where my 1,000 follicular hair grafts were transplanted to fill in my receding hairline on both sides of my scalp. You can see the small transplanted hairs growing, yet these small hairs will start to shed and fall out within a few weeks and go into a resting phase. Regrowth generally begins about four months post-operative surgery, yet the final and permanent results can take up to 12 months to become fully apparent. Dr. Cooley also removed some hair plugs from a previous surgery, which he reused and replaced. In this photograph, you can see where the hair plugs were removed during surgery. I am now 15 days post-surgery and notice there is some small scabbing where the hair plugs were. Yet the skin is filling in nicely and there are no signs of scarring. In the second half of this video, I'm going to have my stitches removed. So now you're going to see the process of having my stitches removed. And uh, since my doctor lives three hours away and my mother is in the medical field, she is trained enough to remove my stitches. So continue to watch and don't go away. What we're doing right now, we're just softening up the stitches. We are using warm water to soften up the stitches. And by wetting the hair, this makes it much easier to comb the hair away from the suture site. I'm also using hair clips to keep my hair out of the way. We have cleaned and wiped off the scissors and tweezers with rubbing alcohol to kill germs. The stitch scissors have curved and side angled pointed ends, making it easier to cut the stitches. My mother is wearing protective gloves as a precaution, which reduces the risk of cross-contamination of germs. The suture site across the back of my scalp is healing very well and it is difficult to see a scar where the donor strip of skin was carefully removed. In this picture, you see the donor site where Dr. Cooley removed the donor tissue and then closed the site with dark blue sutures. Here is a before and after comparison of the donor site. Here is my mom removing one stitch at a time using the tweezers to pull out the sutures. And I'm not sure how many stitches there's one. How many stitches there are? It looks like a continuous whip stitch, I call it. <laughs> the stitches are dark blue. Dark blue. Right. So I'm clipping each one and pulling it out. That don't feel any pain removing the stitches. The stitches have been itchy about two days after the stitches were in I guess your, your body starts healing and there's always been a constant small uh, itching going on with my scalp and a few times at night I have found myself scratching my head but again at night time I wear a a, a a surgeon's surgical hat over my hair, my head, to keep me from scratching my stitches or scratching my uh, hair transplants in the front. Every night I put a brand new saran plastic wrap on my head to keep, you know, germs out. And then the doctor gave me multiple little operating operation hats to wear while I'm asleep and this came in very handy because while you're sleeping you will start scratching your head and this kind of helps you to not directly scratch the the new hair uh, transplants or where the the stitches are the hair transplant procedure which I underwent is called follicular unit micrografting what this means is Dr. Cooley's staff uses microscopes to perform all parts of the dissection process and this allows the hair grafts to be closely slivered without damaging the grafts. 
The smaller the size of the graft allows for smaller incision, greater density, and faster healing with more natural results. Dr. Cooley also uses A-cell matristem, which is an FDA-approved extracellular matrix wound healing agent, which promotes tissue regeneration, proliferation of cells, tissue remodeling instead of scarring, has antibacterial properties, and speeds up the healing process. Dr. Cooley used A-cell major stem agent on the back of my scalp, where he removed the donor tissue and in the hair plug sites and recipient areas. And in less than five minutes, it looks like my mother has just removed all my stitches. Of course, I did speed the footage up an extra 200%. And thanks for watching part six of my hair transplant video, and stay tuned for part seven.